When emotional boundaries are violated as a child, that telegraphs to the child that they actually don't matter, that their very sense of self is being impinged upon rather than their sense of self being cultivated, rather than the parent being curious about the child, rather than the parent honoring the child's boundaries, of course, within reason, keeping the child safe. And so it makes sense that you became impulsive, probably because you were incredibly angry about the lack of recognition of your own personhood, that you didn't get to develop a self or a sense of who you were, that it was always about what other people needed. So when I think of that kind of impulsivity, I think of anger and rage and really rebelling to say, you know what, I don't, I don't care what anybody else says, I'm gonna do what I wanna do when I wanna do it because nobody cares about me. And so as an adult, um, and this is true for pretty much every question, part of being an adult, a functional adult, is to stop rebelling against the ghosts, the ghosts in the nursery, if you will, the ghosts in our childhood, because we're fully formed adults now. And instead of doing something impulsively to stop, um, and that's why, you know, they talk about this in the program, you know, your first thought is not the best thought. It's your second and third thought that you want to pay attention to. So to say, wait a minute, is this really true? Do I really want this person? Do I really need this experience? Do I really need to spend money on this thing? What is it actually doing for me other than I'm just super activated and I need to grab onto something or I need to have some sense of control in my life? So my best recommendation for you is to slow down, make a program call, check out your impulse with someone else or a couple of someone else's so that you can really get a reality check on what's true for you.